uh, was sent uh, or went or whatever happened to a uh, big school downtown, um, what they call INST, in the, the head of Wellington Place in Central City, Boys Day School. A thousand pupils at that time, probably 2,000 now or more, I don't know. But um, a place with an interesting reputation, founded in the founded in the uh, 1790s. Uh, one or two of its masters then were uh, uh, were known to the police for their association with uh, people like Thomas Russell and Wolf Tone. There was uh, always a kind of radical uh, tradition. That in barely contained <laughs> radical tradition. Um, even in my time, uh, there was a master there called John Boyle, J. W. Boyle, labor historian, um, who uh, more or less embodied that, that that tradition for for our generation. This here door, this door, uh, like all other front doors in the world. All other distinguished front doors has been padlocked up, and you have to come in by a side door. I don't know what the principle behind this is, but in May Day, uh, uh, we all came pouring in here, and indeed out again. Uh, this was the front door. Now it's merely decorative. Um, the principal's office is in the same place, though the principal is now a woman, I'm told, and Miss, Miss Williamson. Um, in the 1950s, the principal was a man called Grummet, an Englishman, who had come here uh, from a job running a boarding school, in a uh, famous boarding school, I believe, in Jersey, Channel Islands. But um, the Germans marched in, and uh, Grummet marched out. All changed, changed utterly. I won't say a terrible beauty is born, but it's quite different. One of the things that, that, that interests me is that since I started teaching in the early 1970s, there has been more contemporary Irish literature on, on the literature courses than was the case previously. I mean, I remember uh, when I was at school, you would hardly ever have heard the name of a contemporary uh, Irish author, except perhaps you know, Yeats, of course, would be in the school's anthologies. So would Louis MacNeese, although he was probably there as a 1930s English poet yes. rather than yeah. an Irish he poet was, as he such. Was. He was. And, yeah. you know, people like Padraig Cullum and James Stevens and so on. But um, it didn't come down any further Well, it, uh, I, I think I was in the upper sixth myself at school before I ever heard, we'll say, the names of John Hewitt and yes. John Montague. And of course, it was a matter of an Same English year. teacher photocopying uh, a few poems and yes. getting them out, and it was a kind of a revelation. Yes. But uh, you know, I think that that is no longer the case. I think that people do have more sense now of contemporary. So people like ourselves might even be on a syllabus. Well, yes. I mean, uh, the the anthology poets from the north of Ireland was on the A level syllabus was for six years or so, and uh, uh -huh. that was a great opportunity to introduce the yeah. poetry of people like yourself and. Heaney and Longley and so on mm -hmm. to to sick form to a sick form audience. Let's get in out of the cold. <laughs> skinny, <laughs> skinny. <laughs> Absolutely, that day would skin a ferry. I couldn't do Irish at school, you know, because it simply wasn't an option. But they can do it now. It's an option now. Um, so it was that sort of place. Um, it was also a big rugby school. Mike Longley, for example. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, Mike Longley was a big man in the uh, in the first fifteen, uh, and um, but well, I, I was uh, I, I played a, a scrum half uh, for uh, a season or two uh, uh, at a rather lower level, but I wasn't particularly good. So um, I sort of lost interest in uh, in sport, which I've never regained. Uh, and instead turned into a, a weirdo and an aesthete. In those days, you didn't so much choose where you were going. You went where you were told. Uh, and uh, at school, I was put into a stream which was headed for Trinity. Don't ask me why. So I did 
what I was told and finished up, I think somewhat to my parents' puzzlement, um, as uh, an entrance exhibitioner at uh, TCD.